today is a long-awaited health care video. Don't let the sunset background fool you. It took me about a week to research this. It's generalized. There are many exceptions to this. Your experience could be completely different than what I present today. Photos of Sura's facility, uh, the two facilities in Armenia, are throughout this video. Experiences range from awesome to horrifying, pretty much like anything else. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Uh, and please stay tuned for an announcement at the end of the video. The world's position overall for Colombia is it's the best in all of Latin America. The world's ranking is number 22. USA is 37, Canada 30, Australia is 32, and for people wanting to know about Ecuador, it's number 111th in the World Health Organization's listing. The world position in hospitals, it has 40% of the best hospitals uh, and clinics in all of Latin America are located in Colombia. The best care in Colombia you're going to find in the larger cities in Medellin, Bogota, Cali, Pasto, Manizales. It's where the best hospitals are located. It's not to say that there's not good health care elsewhere. Types of insurance. First of all, you have prepaid, which is private insurance. You're going to get your absolutely best care. Of course, it's also going to be the most expensive. Insurances in Colombia seem to be primarily associated with banks such as Colpatria or Banco Colombia. Premiums for private insurance is going to range about $150 to $300 for adults a month. Your appointments are going to be immediate. You're going to have a lot more flexibility in where you go. Age requirements, generally it's up to 62. Over 62, from 60 to 62, there's going to be an extra cost. Uh, you may find some policies up to 65. <clears throat> I couldn't find any policies that were over age 65 for private insurance. And of course, the way they, they operate it, the older you get, the more expensive your premium is going to be. Pre-existing conditions for private insurance can be somewhat negotiable but understand that they're going to require an examination particularly if you're uh, over 50. Referrals for private insurance are not required so if you see a doctor and you want to go see a specialist you can go right to the specialist. Now to get private insurance if you're a legal resident either a Colombian or you're here on a resident visa you must first buy EPS insurance. The typical copay is $10 and under on private insurance. Now another type of insurance uh, which we won't go into much at all, I'll just mention it. It's called SISBEN, S-A-S-B-E-N. That's a subsidized insurance for the very poor, homeless, unemployed, or people that are employed that are you know, making like under $200 a month. It's free for them. It has minimum of care. There's huge lines. There's very long waits. Often you might wait six months or more to get an appointment. Certainly nothing that you want to look at. As a matter of fact, if you're on a visa, you would never qualify for it anyway. Now this next one is the one that everybody really wants to know about. It's called EPS. It's a public insurance and it's mandatory. For Colombians, when they work, the employer is required to pay half of it and uh, the government pays half of it. If they're not working, then they have to pay for it out of their pocket. It's mandatory including for visa holders, if you're a resident visa holder. It's, the system is similar to Medicare and Social Security in the U.S. Uh, with t retirement combined with it. 
Now with EPS, no one is rejected. So there's no such thing as uh, exclusions for uh, pre-existing conditions. The cost of it is going to be 12.5% of the minimum Colombian salary, which works out to about $35, $37 a month, depending on the exchange rate. Since if you're here as a, as a retiree and there's no salary to declare, then you're going to just pay the minimum. Now, if you're here and you're earning money from Colombia, inside Colombia, then that 12.5% is going to be based on whatever those earnings are. In Armenia, the best EPS insurance is either Sura, S-U-R-A, or EPS Sanitas. Those are at the top of the heap. There's more than a dozen plans, that, uh, companies that you can choose from. These are the two best. There is a warning that you'll see everywhere that the lower down the rung you go, the more financially insolvent they, they may become. At the top, uh, with Sura and Sanitas, they're very financially solid. Other cities may vary. Number one in the country of Colombia is EPS Sura, but you might go to another city. You might go to Pasto, Popajan, and their best coverage might be a completely different insurance company. I know Sanitas in some cities, they're not considered to be very good at all, but in Armenia, they're one of the best. As a matter of fact, I'm told you could flip a coin between the quality of the Sanitas and Sura if you're in Armenia. The lesser plans, as I mentioned, could have money issues. So doctors, hospitals may not even accept those plans. You want to know this ahead of time. EPS is like HMOs. They're networks. The doctors and hospitals are going to be in network. You can have long wait times. It depends on the EPS company and the city that you're in. It's going to vary widely. EPS does include dental, but I'll make a comment on that in a little bit. The government spends about 20% of its annual budget on health care in Colombia. Now some general comments. There is a law in Colombia to prevent state control of the insurance system because competition drives the system, even in the government subsidies. It drives the systems, they're all private companies. It keeps the cost down, which is one of the reasons it's considered to be a model system. Uh, unlike in Ecuador, it's all government owned and operated and it runs in the red. Now EPS, depending again on the company, they can offer an extra cost up to double or triple the premium for add-ons or complementary insurance. Uh, think of it as like gold or platinum HMOs if you can remember when the U.S. had those. With those add-ons, the service is very similar if not identical to having private insurance. But again, they can be age restricted. It varies by the company. There are many exceptions. Generally, 60 to 65, you're gonna be out of the running for those kind of things. You may wanna consider looking up an agent. They can assist you in finding the best coverage in your area. And like HMO, you need referral to specialists. Uh, you're assigned a healthcare center. Hospitals generally do not provide personal items like slippers, soap, sometimes even pillows. Now prescriptions, medicine costs are included in insurance and typically your copay is going to be about a dollar, maybe less. With EPS, different companies have different coverages. For example, dental may only cover cleaning or you may have a company that covers root canals and cavities and a whole range of services. Again, talking to an independent agent to help explain the various policies might be a good thing. Just because it's EPS doesn't mean it's going to all be the same policy. As a matter of fact, they are not the same policy. They are all very different. Choose wisely. Uh, another exception might be glasses. Most are gonna say yes. Uh, some are going to have restrictions. Some are going to make you get the cheapest, you know, pieces of crap out there. My recommendation, find an agent, maybe speak some English so that there's no uh, misunderstandings. 
have them go through the various options and make your choice then. Also, depending on where you are, try to find out who's going to give you the best service overall, and that should certainly be a big part of your consideration. That's it on healthcare. Uh, maybe you can understand why this is all over the board. There's no specific answer. You're going to have to do your specific homework for your situation. Healthcare you're going to receive in Columbia is going to be as good or better than most places on this planet. <laughs>